So my name is Jörg Wicke. I'm um, here senior lecturer at the School of Computer Science. My research is in machine learning and data mining and its application in interdisciplinary fields. So I apply machine learning a lot to many other research areas in computational sustainability, in chemistry, in biology, in psychology and many more. Machine learning is a field of computer science which tries to build models that learn from experience. So instead of traditional computer science where you code what the program should do into the algorithm, in machine learning you build algorithms that learn from data and then predict certain behaviors. My machine learning research at the moment focuses a lot on adversarial learning, which is trying to find weaknesses in machine learning models and trying to find the limits basically where they break. And if you can find examples where machine learning models fail and the reasons why they fail. Our machine learning group is around 10 academics here at the School of Computer Science and the University of Auckland. We look at it from the perspective of machine learning. So how can machine learning help to address sustainability issues? That's a very interdisciplinary field. So we work a lot with um, other researchers, again, in chemistry, biology, or environmental science, or even social science. One of the key parts in computational sustainability is that you can take algorithms that are designed to solve one problem in one domain and transfer them to a completely different domain and apply them there. Use the expertise you gained before and apply them to a new area and so everyone benefits. And it's an extremely interdisciplinary field of research making very interesting to work with very different researchers and have a very wide range of applications. One of the projects in computational sustainability we work on is the analysis of bad calls and using the data that we get from bad calls to identify environmental problems. To look for bats, we use special devices that take the echolocation calls and that bats use to navigate, find their way through the dark, and we turn that down to something that we can hear. Bat calls have certain patterns that we're looking for and we try to identify these patterns and then map them to patterns that we find in environmental data and potentially use these bad calls or what we can record from these bad calls to predict certain environmental problems in the environment around the sensor basically. Those devices at the moment are very very expensive and very complicated to use so we wanted to try and find something that's a little bit easier for everyone to use so we can get more people involved in bat conservation. So we can put up very small, cheap sensors that record bad calls, have a machine learning platform on top of that that analyzes the bad calls and then can predict that some environmental problem is around there. So to find bats across Auckland, we're really looking for ways of modeling where the most likely places bats are going to be across Auckland. So we really want to make sure that we know where they are so that we're going to send members of the public out there to look for bats. But current technology is a bit complicated to use and we need to find out how the technology can make it more simple for these people to learn more about bats and find bats in their backyards, their parks and their schools. So machine learning seemed to be a really good solution to try and interpret some of that data so we can get better results for bats in Auckland.